I've heard it called the Sokol Dam, the Pine Meadow Ranch Dam. Definitely has a presence though, a history. From 30,000 feet, one would think that getting fish past the dam and keeping them in the creek would be pretty easy, but it's not that simple though. For over 100 years, Waichu's Creek has been the primary source of irrigation water for the Pine Meadow Ranch. From the dam, water flowed nearly a mile down an irrigation ditch to the ranch. That's how the water got here. The original dam, which was big logs, diverted it into the ditch, which came from there down to the ranch. It was 1994, my brother was tired of the dam washing out all the time, the old one, and my brother never did anything, kind of. He went out there and took 120 yards of concrete and enough rebar probably to build a house. He managed to have enough engineering know-how to uh, build an extremely good one that nothing budged it. And it was something that he was really proud of. In 2009, the Upper Deschutes Watershed Council reached out to the Sokol family to begin exploring ways to help fish migrate past the dam so they could reach many miles of important spawning habitat upstream. I'll admit I was a little nervous when I first came to meet them. I didn't know what to think if they would fit me into a category of an environmentalist kind of pushing his agenda without concern for, for their agenda or their values. Matthias and Ryan show up and I'm going like, what in the heck is going on here? I, I'm going like, wait, it's our water. We can do what we want with it. Naturally, we, we were a little leery about, well, what do they want to do? We told them that one of the options available to them was to leave the dam in place and, and address fish passage. But with reintroduction of salmon and steelhead well underway, there was going to be a lot of attention brought to the dam. While the irrigation dam worked well for many years, its operation and maintenance ultimately became a burden for the ranch. Following annual floods, the creek would change course and bypass the dam, or simply leave the ditch full of debris. It caused a lot of problems. It was always flooding, washing out. The younger generation seems to like driving four-wheelers through ditches until so they would break the ditches down and the water would go elsewhere. I think over time what we learned is, is really being able to listen to each other and really at a certain point understanding what was important to Doro and to Chris and, and, and for the ranch. They'd go away and answer our questions, and then they'd come back, and we'd meet again, and we're going like, no, yes, no, yes. And that went on for several years. It's to kind of really explore those alternatives uh, before one rose to the top and became evident that that's the one we wanted to, to take advantage of. My brother had always dreamed of having a pivot. So I go like, well, I want a pivot. After five years of meetings and negotiations, some elegant solutions began to emerge. Solutions that eliminated the need for the dam and improved irrigation. Solutions that would also open the door to more holistic restoration of the entire stream ecosystem. I'm very pleased with the way the pivot operates because it creates much better continuous water on the land. I don't know how, it all of a sudden, it kind of became okay with me and realizing it was okay for the dam to be taken down, but they never pushed about it. They understood what it meant to us. Seeing the dam coming out after five years of all this work, it's pretty exciting, I'll admit. In the end, it was representative of all the time we had spent finding the right solution dam was a symbol of unlocking all these other benefits to the project. It's really cool to be a part of something that is so successful. It's like, why can't we do this with the rest of the world? My son-in-law, who is an avid fly fisherman, as I was, caught three fish the other day in the creek. The only problem was the three of them were about eight inches total. That was a huge investment, and it was a risk, but it was well worth it. It was a win for everybody. We were all working together. We started with a project that just looked at fish passage and fish screening, and we ended up with 13 miles of upstream habitat opened up. Fish are staying in the creek. We are also looking at one cubic foot per second of senior water right permanently protected in stream. 
and we're looking at a whole new floodplain that's going to be reconnected to Waichu's Creek. 170 acres of, of riparian restoration, so it's, it's pretty exciting to see all those pieces come into it. I could call them up and rant, <laughs> and they wouldn't hang up on me. <laughs> I still get a little bit of hair coming up on my neck when Tasha comes bounding towards me, but I know that she's usually pretty excited to see me now versus wanting to bite my hand off. <laughs> No, I didn't think he'd ever give up because it's something that had to be done. <laughs>